hello students welcome back to our class of dbms on our last class we have already discussed about what is normalization and normal form and we have also learned what is 1 in a for fast normal form now let's continue this class in today's class we are going to discuss about what is other normal form like 2na or 3na now before i go in any more detail let's take one example and then we will discuss so let's say we have a table like this Okay. Now <clears throat> so this is our table where we have a grocery shop or any shop that has this following table that is um, it has certain item uh, like let's make some data for them also And item two is sixty. Okay, then. So this is my table. Okay. Now in this table, I am actually representing every transaction made by the shop owner. That whenever some customer come, 
the owner will sell some uh, item to them they will generate some order number or order id and it will also keep record of what was the item that is by the item id item name its uh, item price quantity per price and also the quantity now in the last class we have also discussed that if i normalize any table then redundancy can be removed and it will also help us to remove the anomalies now what are the different anomalies now there are mainly three anomalies one is updation anomaly second is insertion anomaly and the third is called the deletion anomaly now let's say i have updation anomaly problem now when that can happen say in this table i want to update uh, price of item one now item one is present in this table two times so i have to update these two fields that is uh, i130 and i130 these two fields so i have to update if if i update this 30 to 40 then i must do uh, two times now this is present only two times because of our uh, small set of data if number of rows are maybe one lakh or two lakh or maybe more than that then it is not very easy to update uh, price of a particular item so uh, there may be some inconsistency uh, may happen that i may update uh, first row but uh, that updation didn't take place in the second place okay so that may create some anomaly that is called the updation anomaly now maybe i want to delete this item one from uh, there but if i delete item one from uh, there then see uh, this order that is uh, connected with this uh, item id one only and if i delete this then that order every every uh, detail of that order will also be deleted from my table so a deletion anomaly will take place and i cannot do that because if i delete i1 then also this order will be deleted but i must keep record of this order 3 okay and the same thing is that if i want to insert any item let's say item 4 and that uh, have not been sold uh, to any customer yet then it will create one insertion anomaly problem too okay now so we understand that uh, these uh, problems can be solved by the normalization but the question is how now this table is already in one nf it is uh, very clear to us because we have only one value in one cell but uh, it is not in 2 nf okay now what is 2 nf now table to be normalized uh, in uh, 2 nf or in uh, second nf then it should be in the first nf that we did in the last time and there must not be any partial dependency of any column on the primary key okay now uh, i am analyzing it like see if i make the dependency functional dependency that i say that on item id item price comma item name is dependent yeah it is true because we know that for a particular item id we can have a particular item name and a particular item id can have a particular item price only so this is true okay, right now again if i say oh i made some mistake i wrote the order number okay now no problem order number on order number you will say that this order date is dependent isn't it because uh, we know that for a 
particular order we can have only one date because one order can be issued only one date only but in one date we can have more than one order see um, in this date 1 to 2013 we made one order of uh, with order number 01 and also 04 okay right okay now the next thing what I'll do is that it will be now what is left there uh, order item ID item price is done uh, order date order number and item ID. so the only the quantity is left now see if I make one composite key of order number then I can say that QTY depends on that I will not agree that for a particular order number a particular order ID can have only a particular quantity right so any on any bill if you say that a particular item can have a fixed quantity for any particular order number so this is the relationship between them so now if we use these properties then we can reconstruct the table like this so this is our relation now simply rewrite the table like this so one two and three Item price. Item them. Item them. So there will be three columns there, I think. Okay, now I will make columns. What are the different items? See, item 1, item 2, and item 3. Only 3 items will be there. Okay. Item 1, item 2. Item 3, item 30, item 60, and this item 3 is 20. Okay, done. Now, item name, it is X, it is Y, and it is Z. Okay, clear? So now, if you want to insert any item just simply insert there simply insert okay there will be no insertion anomaly for any item in the same way for the order table we will make like this the number order number and order and order that oh, good now how many orders are there o1 o2 and o3 so the three orders
This is in 1, 2, 2013. Order 2 is 1, 3, 1, 3, 13. And it is in 1, 4, 13. 1, 4, 13. Okay, now any order can be added like this. And the last, the most is this table. One, two, three columns will be there. Item ID, order number. Item ID. Item ID. Right. Next is here. Order number. Okay. And how many years are there? I will have to cover them every day. On item one, you may be sure on order number one. And how many items are there? Five items are there. For a second one, we'll simply just copy it. Now it will be like uh, item two, and uh, order one also. And how many items are there? Twelve. And so on. Okay. Now clear. So and this is 2NF or second number form and we also understand how normalization uh, helps us to remove all the anomalies like updation anomaly, insertion anomaly or deletion anomaly. In our next class uh, we will discuss about more on the normalization form like 3NF or BCNF like this. Okay. Thank you.